This is my son's Remo Hobby rocket. And the last time out bashing, it started clicking. I'm assuming there's some gear mesh issue or it's super dirty in there. So we're gonna take it apart and try and fix it, hopefully. Uh, so uh, we're gonna throw it on the bench and start working. Body off and <clears throat> looks like I need to take off one, two, three, four, and five, six, seven, eight Allen screws, I believe. Uh, so should be pretty simple and then Hopefully I just have to clean it up, throw some new fresh grease on there, and we'll be good. All right. Well, I actually needed to take off two screws here. Come on, focus. So I actually needed to take off two screws here that hold, holds on this little cover for the gear. And I don't know if you'll be able to see it, but there's a tooth right up here at the top of this pinion gear that broke off. You see that gap? So, uh, I guess I need a new pinion gear for the Remo Hobby, or sorry, a, a new spur gear. Um, not great with all the parts. <laughs> this is a little bit outside of my norm. I'm new to the hobby, you know, but it's easy enough. It literally only took me a couple minutes to take apart. I see what the issue is. I think they're only like $5 for a replacement. Um, granted, it's gonna take quite a bit of time to get here so can't really fix it for a little while um, but uh, at least it has now been discovered the source of the issue and we'll order the part then I'll strip everything show the install and go from there I know this is gonna be a really short maintenance video it's just kind of an update to my recent post to the community but, uh, yeah, I, I thought, I honestly thought there was like a rock in here or just really dry and I would be able to throw some grease on it and it would be fine. But as you saw, that uh, spur gear has a missing tooth. That's what's causing the clicking because there's a inconsistent mesh. Uh, so... I'm gonna go ahead, order a new spur gear. Like I said, it should be a couple bucks and then we should get this taken care of and back on the road. Once we do that, I'll definitely do a driving video so you guys can see this in action. Really awesome little truck. Uh, so be, stay tuned. 